Welcome to Paletta CAD. Today we'll show you how to plan a room quickly and easily. From the title screen, select Create Project with Room. From here, you can select from a number of different pre existing room shapes. You can also rotate them or mirror them depending on your needs. Click in one of the number fields to set your dimensions. Tab takes you to the next field, or you can simply click. When you're ready, click OK and the room will be generated. The blue arrow indicates which front you are currently using. This is displayed in the front view. The insert tab allows you to quickly add a number of elements. In this case, we'll add a window and adjust its width. After selecting OK, the window can be placed in the axonometric view, plan view, or the front view with a click. To switch to a different wall or front, simply click on the desired wall in the plan view. From the design tab, you can open the object catalogues. Alternatively, you can hit the O key. Here you will see a list of all of the catalogues available to you. Click through the plus symbols on the left or the folders on the right to find the object you're looking for. In this case, we'll add a door and we'll place it with a click in the front view. In the input area to the left, you can easily adjust the door's distance from either side of the front. Now we'll select the WC set from the object catalog. It can be rotated with the arrow keys and using the handle function, it will automatically pop into place when moved near a corner or other handle point. Now we'll add a bath set. When moving to place an object, holding down the space bar will prevent it from clipping through other objects or through the walls. Next we'll add a shower set and place this on the opposite side. Many objects and materials in Paletta CAD can be added with a simple drag and drop, such as with this wash basin set. Now for some floor tiles. After selecting them, you'll be asked where you would like to place them. Clicking OK places the tiles. And now for the wall tiles. In the wall tiling configurator, you can select where you are laying them, the joint and more. Clicking OK applies the tiles to the walls. From the View tab, you can choose to add daylight. This gives you a number of options, but here we will choose to use sunlight. From the presentation cubes in the perspective view, select the virtual reality or photorealistic option. This allows you to see changes in light in real time. In the axonometric view, the position of the sun can be adjusted to any position around the room. For best effect, here we'll place it outside the window and we'll give it a warmer hue. Now to add a ceiling. Go to the Insert tab and click on Ceiling. It can be added quickly to the room by clicking the In Room option and then by clicking anywhere within the confines of the room in the Plan view. In the Perspective view, you can select a desired camera view from the drop-down menu. Select the view that gives you the best overview of your plan. You can maximise or minimise the view with a double click on its title bar, or by clicking the Maximise or Restore button to the right. To adjust the height of the camera, right click and select Camera Lift. Now while holding the left mouse button, you can move the camera up, down, left or right. Using the presentation cubes, you can choose to render your plan as you like. And here, for example, is the watercolour option. To render in the best quality, you can select our ambient light or high-end photorealistic option. So there you have it. Easy to use, fast, Paletta CAD. Until next time, stay inspired.